Hey, what's going on guys? Sub here and welcome back to another Terraria video where today we're checking out yet again another new seed that you can do in Terraria 1.4. So this seed has been dubbed Red's World by the Terraria community. So you guys might already know what this is, you might not, but yeah, we're gonna get into this. So basically, the seed you're gonna wanna put is 05, 16, 20, 20. Now this seed is basically the release date for Terraria 1.4 Journey's End. And it was showed, uh, Red tweeted out an image of this world creation basically right here. I'm gonna actually make the world medium. Uh, actually large, we'll do large. So basically Red tweeted out uh, before 1.4, he said hyping up the release, that's what everyone at least thought it was at the time, where he had this seed input at the release date for Terraria Journey's End. And the community actually went in when 1.4 came out, put in the seed and actually found out it's very, it's, it's interesting. It's a brand new seed. It completely changes. Well, not completely. Not like the B seed, but it does change a lot of things about the world. So let's just create it right now. And already you can tell something's up. So it's constant. The bar is constantly flicking between Crimson and Corruption. There are numbers going everywhere. We have a glowing mushroom biome as the background. All the clouds, if you look, are... Just Red's face. <laughs> it's just Red's face. And then we have the moon and a little creepypasta smiley face over there. So, this is already very interesting and different. The seed clearly changes something. And if we wait a few seconds here, it's actually going to say in words what it's doing. So, just give it one, one second here. Placing traps. Red's world is full of traps, so you gotta love that. It's a very dangerous seed, actually. Very dangerous. Uh, I am sure that people would love to do a playthrough of this world, though, because it is very unique, and you're about to see why. So once this generates, let's just go into it. Okay, so here we are. I just spawned in. This is Red's world. So we start off with the party girl, which is always nice. And actually, my wings are in the wrong slot here. So we're going to have to fix that. So the thing with this world is that in every, every chest, every chest that spawns, you have a really rare chance, but you have a chance to get two new items to Terraria 1.4. The Red Potion and um, Moon Lord's Legs, which might sound incredibly dumb, but you can find Moon Lord's Legs as an item in Terraria 1.4. Now, it is a really rare chance, so I'm not gonna go through every chest trying to find one to show you guys. I already found one and I actually have it on me right now and we're gonna check that out in a minute. But I just want to like showcase this world a bit. So already you can tell there is a huge amount of giant trees that spawn this world. The world is absolutely covered in giant trees. Now, if we can just keep going here, you'll notice we actually have the corruption to our right here. That's always interesting. We have the corruption. All right. But that is not all. If we go to the left side right now, which we'll do in a minute, I do need to get to the end of this world to find the dungeon because that is another new thing. This world is very unique. It has the Crimson and the Corruption in it. So you can fight Wall of Flesh, uh, not Wall of Flesh, uh, Eater of Worlds and Brain of Cthulhu get both their drops in this world because both biomes exist. Now that's actually really bad generation because it's going to spread all over the jungle and we might lose the jungle in hard mode, which is never good. So... We're going to keep going, though, because there is another change on the surface of this world, and it is to the dungeon. So we're actually just going to keep going to left or right side till we find the dungeon. Okay, guys, so haven't found the dungeon yet. I just finished exploring the right side, but here we are on the left side almost immediately after spawn, and we have a crimson biome. Now, I've never seen one like this because it's all foresty, and... The crimson's just sort of here. But the crimson is here, showing how. Oh! Well, I was this. So, crimson and corruption. But moving on from that, 
we have found a pair of Moon Lord's legs. This is an item you can only find in this world. It can spawn in any chest. Any chest. Is that Pinky? That is Pinky. It can spawn in any chest in this world. Shadow chest, golden chests, dungeon chests, all, all the sword chests. I don't know if it can, you can get it from crates in this world, but you can. You might be able to. Don't really know. But anyway, let's take these out. I'm going to actually show you what Moon Lord's legs do right now. I was planning on showing them right later, but I wasn't really expecting to find one. So, let me take off all my armor and my wings. And if we could just throw on the Moon Lord's legs, you already notice our feet look different. We can run around. We do a, this weird little running animation with the Moon Lord legs on. We jump higher than normal. This gives increased mobility and three defense. So we jump higher. We run a little faster. It's meant to be for sort of a pre-hard mode item, but you can only get in this world, so... If you really want to get it, load up a copy of this world and try to find one yourself. It might take a while. It took me about an hour to get this pair right here, so I'm actually very surprised we found one. But yeah, let's throw on a real armor. I'll put these in the accessory uh, vanity slot, and yeah, let's keep on going. So, up uh, there is another pair of Moon Lord's legs. So, it's really just RNG, really, for finding these things. It's just luck if you manage to find a pair of Moon Lord's legs. Uh, it's a pretty cool item, though. It does make you look pretty unique. Now, they actually patched this recently, but it was something you could do uh, before the patch, obviously. And if you wore uh, Moon Lord's legs in one of your slots and frog legs in your vanity slots, which, if you don't know, they change your legs to look like frog legs, This would they would actually glitch out and just make the entire bottom half of your body invisible. But that's patched now, so I can't exactly show it to you. Don't know how to roll back my Terraria versions yet, but yeah. Moon Lord's Legs, pretty cool item. So, moving on from that, we're actually going to try to find the second item you can find in this world, the Red Potion. Now, I'm sure veteran players do know what the Red Potion is and what it does. Uh, I'm not sure if it's unique to 1.4, getting it like this, but it might be. I don't really know. So anyway, what the Red Potion does is it gives you, basically, I think virtually almost every debuff in the entire game for 60, 60 minutes for the debuff, and it will also suffocate you and kill you. So basically, if you drink the potion, it'll kill you, but it gives you like broken armor, silence, um, ooh, a pyramid now. We, like I said, you can find the potions or anything in any chest, so let's just check in here. Moon Lord's legs, see, told you. You can find the pairs of Moon Lord's legs or red potions in any chest, skyline chest, dungeon chest, shadow chest, all of them. So. We're going to keep going left here, and we're actually going to find the dungeon, which the dungeon is completely different. Like, in the B seed, it just changed colors, made the dungeon orange. That was pretty cool. I mean, in my opinion, I would like to have an orange dungeon, but whatever. It can be paint. doesn't matter. Um, but with this dungeon, it's actually completely different. So we're going to try and find it now. And once we find it, yeah, we'll find it. All right, guys, here we are at the dungeon. Now, you might think, wait, this isn't the dungeon. This is a tree. This is actually a special type of tree that only spawns in Red's World. It is called the Dead Tree. You can't actually get these leaves. They are, yet again, another painted block. But it's a pretty cool detail. So if we can dig into here and just begin going down, what you're going to see really soon is a face monster, apparently. Now, what you're going to see is as we go down... Wow, this is a pretty deep one, actually. Okay. We enter the dungeon. Now, we are actually... That is a really far down path to the du dungeon. I've never seen one go that far down. But, yeah, this dungeon is absolutely chock full of traps. Now, I would like to show you all the traps in this dungeon. Uh, but, preferably, without dying. So, we're actually going to have to wait here till. We can curse ourselves and just beat Skeletron so we can check it out. Uh, but this dungeon is actually very special because, like I said, it does spawn under a literal giant dead tree. So that's always fun. And we do have the Crimson and Corruption in this world. Corruption, Crimson. It seems something's attacking us, so I'm just going to quick kill the thing. But yeah. We're gonna wait here till nighttime so that we can actually curse ourselves. And once we beat Skeletron, we'll check out the rest of the dungeon. 
All right, so we're finally able to actually curse ourselves. Let's just uh, quickly summon Skeletron and obliterate him. There we go. So now we can actually have full access to the rest of Red's dungeon. Now, there are some very special uh, secrets hidden in this dungeon. And by secrets, I mean traps. There are a lot of traps. So you would think the dungeon ends right here. It does not. There are falling block traps nearly everywhere in the dungeon. Now, I have picked up a few golden keys, so we're going to see if we can actually find... Uh, Shadow Key would be nice. We're going to see if we can actually find any of Red's potions that he leaves hiding around. So, already we have a new trap. It is a water pit spike trap, and it's activated by falling into freaking mush block. Clearly. And, oh... How can we activate this one? So it seems this one's a bit weird as it forms sideways. So we're actually going to grab it up. Pick actually just mine through it. And there's another pit trap there. Yet another broken trap. I'm pretty sure you would probably be able to mine through these. Uh, with an old pickaxe. But yeah. So let's keep going. See if we can find anything really out of the ordinary in here. Because uh, I'm not really seeing anything besides the traps. I'm not seeing anything besides the traps. Now, I was hoping to see if we can get a red potion in here. But clearly, that's not happening. And that is the biggest trap so far. Oh, my. Let's keep going. And, yeah. So, basically, this is Red's dungeon. It is just chock full of all these different traps and i don't believe any of the npcs sell anything different i don't think anyone's actually checked but yeah i don't believe they can sell anything different anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the last feature of red's world so let's head back to uh to spawn and now we have to go check out hell so i'm just gonna dig down here and yeah we're gonna head to hell Alright guys, so here we are in hell, and if you're actually wondering why I look like Toad, I found a set of mushroom gear in a chest, along with a shroom minecart while digging straight down, so that's always funny. I didn't know that it was in the game. So, if you look at this hell, you'll notice it is very different from your average hell. It is completely covered in just lava, which normal one kind of is, but this thing is just one giant lava lake. Like, seriously, look at this. It is just all one giant lava lake. So, besides there being just a big lava lake in virtually your entire world, there is one other key thing that is different in the underworld. So, the lava lake will span in the sort of middle area, I believe, in the middle of the underworld. So, probably from about here to here. And if we go far enough left or right, all the buildings are going to spawn at the edge of the world, which is actually the opposite of the normal hell. So, over here we're actually finding some land. I guess Red was decided to give us some mercy here. But, um, yeah, in, in a regular terraria world, there are going to be these huge lakes of lava at the corners of the world. And then they're going to have the buildings and regular hell over here. The opposite is true for this. Instead, you have it in the middle of the world, and then you have some regular hell and buildings on opposite sides. Now, this is actually the biggest patch of hellstone I've ever seen. Just want to point that out. There's a lot of hellstone spawning here. Seems Red does want this uh, world to be playable to some extent. So, yeah, here's our first building. We actually get to see a bit of the jungle right above us here. But, yeah, we're not here for the jungle. Nothing's changed there. So, if we keep digging... We'll eventually. Here we go. A absolutely massive Hellstone facility complex. Sort of. Hell brick. I don't actually know what these are called. I'd imagine, yeah, hell, Hellstone bricks. Hell brick. So, the, the buildings do spawn on the edges, sort of, the world. Although, we are in a large world, so the edges are apparently. Not that big, but you still are going to have a big chunk of your underworld, like the middle part of it, be a lava lake, which I can imagine being pretty annoying if you're trying to do anything. Now, I believe I do have Shadow Key on me. I do. We might find <laughs> another pair of Moon Lord's legs. And we also have a slice of Hell Cake. Always nice. New pet, baby imp. 
Uh, my favorite thing. I'm actually going to turn on my other pet, which you can also find in the Underworld. It's a little mimic. I kind of like it. Shadow chest mimic. And of course, you can put uh, shaders on it or whatever you want to put on it. Change the colors. And wow, the luck on this world. Six pairs of Moon Lord's legs. Now, I'm actually looking for the other item we can get right now, which is called the Red Potion. I believe I already talked about that a bit earlier, so I'm not going to bore you with the details. If we find one, we find one. If we don't, basically all you need to know about a Red Potion, it sort of looks like a flask, like one of the flask potions, not your regular just bottle potion. And if you eat it, it will, if you drink it, it, it will just, just kill you. That is really all it does. It's more of a developer gag item. Not really practical in any situation, but it would be nice to have. So yeah, you can only get the red potion and the, wow, that's weird. And the freaking <laughs> uh, moon lord's legs in this seed world. So if you don't put in the seed, you will, it's going to be impossible for you to actually get moon lord's legs and the potion. So yeah. So I'm actually going to end this video here, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. We checked out everything really new. In this seed, so obviously Hell's Reverse, Crimson, and Corruption both in one world. We got uh, the dungeon being under a tree. We got all the traps in there. And we got freaking all of these Moon Lord's likes. <laughs> I don't know what else I can really say about that. Five pairs. Five pairs of Moon Lord's likes. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button down below. Subscribe for more content. I'm going to make videos checking out all the sorts of Terraria seeds we can find in 1.4 as they come out, hopefully. And I also do Master Mode playthroughs and modded playthroughs on my channel of Terraria. So, yeah, actually, I recently finished my planet playthrough yesterday, actually. So, happy there. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.